So I have a, an example here for us. Again, about we talked about how we're going to look at graphing today. And so the given system, as you can see there that I'm giving you, is y equals 2x minus 3 and y equals x minus 1. Remember, these are both in slope-intercept form. So because of these, uh, again, I'm going to write little notes to myself, how I would do it in class, intercept form. So remember, in slope-intercept form, that's y equals mx plus b. You want to use the y-intercept and the slope. So again, I apologize for not having graph paper at home, but this is what we're doing. And you can do the same thing on your homework. We're all doing the best we can. Okay, <clears throat> so that first line, I'll do that in blue, y equals 2x minus 3. Remember, for this line, your y-intercept is negative 3, so this goes back to just can you graph a line. The slope of that line is 2. I can think of it as 2 over 1. Remember, that's rise over run, so I will go up 2, so 1, 2, to the right 1. Again, how did I get that? Slope, remember, is rise divided by run. So if my slope is 2, I go up 2 and to the right 1. And of course, oh boy, I can't hold my phone and draw a line and hold a ruler. So I'm going to do my best <laughs> that I can here. I wish I had three hands, but I don't. Okay, so there's my first line. My second line I will do in this marvelous green here. The y-intercept of that line is negative 1. So I'm going to put a dot there. The slope of that line is 1. There's a 1 in front of it. So that means I'm going to go up 1 and to the right 1. Okay, and I really wished I used a ruler. I'm hoping you're going to use one at home. <clears throat> and so as you can see, my lines are crossing. And this is where using a ruler is really important, but again, I am my two hands are occupied and I cannot use a ruler at this point. So your answer to these types of problems isn't the graph. It's either what we talked about in the last um, video. It's one, writing an ordered pair, or writing no solution, or writing infinitely many solutions. Because these lines cross, I know my answer is an ordered pair, and it looks like they cross about right here. Yours might look a little different. We give leeway on the graphs um, when we're graphing, but I'm going to approximate what this looks like. So it's the point one, two, three, four, I'd say like four and a half on my graph, comma, three. And that right there would be my answer to this problem. So there's example one. <clears throat> 